In this video, we will discuss rhythms originating from the sinus node, sinus rhythm, sinus bradycardia, and sinus tachycardia. The full rhythm tutorial can be found at richacls.com. In this first rhythm, we have a regular rhythm with a P wave in front of every QRS. The PR interval is constant with the normal width and the QRS is narrow. The rate is about 65 to 70. If we were to look at the animation of this rhythm, we would see the SA node fire, the impulse travel down the intraatrial tracts, the AV node delay the impulse, and the Purkinje fibers transmit the impulse down through the ventricles, causing rapid ventricular depolarization and contraction. This is regular sinus rhythm. In this slide, we have a regular rhythm with a P wave in front of every QRS. The PR interval is constant with a normal width, and the QRS is narrow. The rate is about 30 to 35. If we look at the animation of this rhythm, we would see the SA node fire, the impulse travel down the intraatrial tracts, the AV node delay the impulse, and the Purkinje fibers transmit the impulse down through the ventricles, causing rapid ventricular depolarization and contraction. This is just like a regular sinus rhythm, but the rate is below 60. This is sinus bradycardia. In this slide, we have a regular rhythm with a P wave in front of every QRS. The PR interval is constant with the normal width and the QRS is narrow. The rate is about 130 to 140. If we look at the animation, we would see normal conduction like sinus rhythm and sinus brady, just faster. This is sinus tachycardia. It is important to understand the conduction process with this rhythm is normal because another rhythm, which looks somewhat like sinus tachycardia, called supraventricular tachycardia, has a much different conduction situation and therapy. For more rhythm videos, type in rich ACLS on the search bar.